What if you could save money and time on every gift basket you created? And just think, no more packing peanuts, newsprint, foam, skewers, glue dots, or expensive adhesives. It's a design product that is economical, easy to use, and specifically designed for our industry. And it's right here. It's Undershred. It was developed by a gift basket designer and her husband who thought there should just be a better way to make gift baskets. After countless tries, truly countless, hundreds, <laughs> uh, <laughs> to come up with the perfect filler material, um, we've created a product that would allow you to use it in all your gift baskets. Mm -hmm. It's going to save you time and money and still be able to do your own personal style of gifts that you create for your customers. Well, that's great. Well, yeah. how, how does it work? Um, basically, it's a recycled material um, mm -hmm. that has small cuts in it that don't go all the way through the paper, mm -hmm. and it also has some accordion folding to it. So when you're building a gift basket, you're tucking your items into it, and it firms up and nestles each item as you tuck it in. Eventually, when it's full, it's very firm and nothing moves. So you no longer have to put a pick on the back of an item and put it in newsprint and use tape and um, takes about half the time to build a basket. Oh, that's great. So it, it sort of just nestles around the product that you're you're displaying in there and supports it without you having to go through all the, the trouble of, of putting on the, the skewer and taping that down and getting the newsprint in just a, a certain way. This really does all that kind of work for you? That's correct. And it's definitely more economical than using a solid piece of foam in a gift basket to hold things up or you know peanuts because mm -hmm. everybody loves to get peanuts yeah. um, <laughs> and those so, are great for the environment yeah <laughs> <They're very laughs> uh, and then uh, once you're doing your basket and you have everything in place um, the colorful top shred that you use anyway that you put mm -hmm. in your gift, gift basket you're going to use less because you're going to cover the uh, spaces in between your products and not necessarily the whole piece oh. so you save some money great. On so that as this well. goes a lot longer yes it does that's great that's great. So we're not using the foam or the or the or the peanuts, which we know are, are terrible for the environment. And they're pain and they're messy. Uh, and the newsprint you use have to use a ton of that and, and balloon that up just right, right in yeah. order to get things get things going right. And also, I, I think you said this is made from 100% post-consumer recyclable material. That is correct. And when your customer gets it and they're done eating all their goodies and treats out of the basket, they simply toss it in their recycling and. It's done. Well, that's great. From recycling, right back to recycling. That's yes. great. How do I get it? Well, when, when I receive it, what does it look like? Well, it's going to look just like this. Um, and this product has been um, compressed okay. once it's made. There's actually about 800 feet of product oh, in wow. this bag. Okay. And we compress the air out of it so that we can reduce the shipping costs. Um, we make gift baskets, so we know how much you can pay and how much you can't. So <laughs> we're taking care of that. It's all about the and economy. Making sure. Right. <laughs> exactly. exactly. Um, so actually, once you receive it, it's got a little zip tie on it. Okay. So you'll just want to remove that. And it'll start expanding. So there's actually, I was going to open this and show you. There's a lot of oh, products. Wow. Very compressed. Oh, yeah. So as you can see, that little bag. Yeah, goes a long little way. bag came <laughs> into all of this. That's all great. This. It's an easy way to go green, but be economical at the same time. Um, okay. It's also fragrance free, so it's not going to affect anything that you would put in your gift basket oh, at all. So now we're going to put a basket together with the under shred. So I've already filled my container. Okay. Um, and the way to kind of check for the right amount is I think this feels like a kitchen sponge in my kitchen. If you have too much, if it's just too hard and you're having a hard time digging mm -hmm. the little hole you need your yeah. product in, uh -huh. um, they will work themselves right back out. Oh, okay. So that's too much. All right. Um, if you don't have enough, then it's not going to support the product. Right. So, but this is just adding and subtracting right. under shred. Right. It's not having to reform the newsprint. Correct. And any of that. Okay, Correct. great. Um, so you can definitely use any kind of packages. We ship wine this way. You know, in our gourmet baskets, pretty much anything. There's not any kind of restrictions to packaging. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, you just make a little hole where you like your product. Okay. And drop it in. Bingo. It's, it's tough. <laughs> <laughs> Even I might be able to you do this. You might be able to do this. <laughs> 
and any kind of package that's firm like this that's cardboard mm -hmm. it's just going to slide right in there and mm -hmm. it gets actually gets caught up a little bit in the uh, cuts so oh, that's great. another that's thing that's holding it in nice and firm right great um, if you do have any packaging that's soft like these pretzels mm -hmm. um, what you can do is just pinch the bottom of it okay and then when it gets back in there and the product shifts down it'll release and it'll kind of catch and hold them tight right so that works pretty good Right. Right, hold. Drop it in. Well, it. Everything, you're just plopping it right into the basket. Yeah, so not to too tough. Worry <laughs> about glue dots or sticking it into foam, taping on the skewers, anything like that. Just well, dropping it right into the basket. Just drop it right in. And it looks great. Too. Yeah. And um, really, nothing's going to move around. Um, the only exception would be if you had loose chocolates. Mm -hmm. You might want to put a little piece of double stick tape to hold them exactly where you want them because obviously they're going to roll around. There's mm. not enough, they're not deep enough to go in. Sure. Everything else is. Mm -hmm. there you go. And that's it. Everything's going to stay in place. And then once you're finished and you're ready to wrap that in cellophane and put a bow on it, mm -hmm. um, you're going to go ahead and use some colored shred just to tuck in. That firms it up just a little bit more and then covers. Um, under shred on the bottom. Then you would wrap it in cellophane or shrink wrap just the way you normally would finish your basket anyway. Mm -hmm. um, and we ship these, have had no problem. They've been all over the country for years and everything stays in place. So we've had um, customers are really happy with them. <laughs>so oh, now we're going to see a demonstration on assembling a gift basket by using first both the old method and with the new undershred product and right off the bat we can see that already over here we're using the old method we've got the newsprint and the skewers and tape and the crinkle cut and over here just the undershred and the crinkle cut so already we're saving money in terms of, of materials so we're going to have these uh, two baskets assembled by two professional gift basket designers and we'll see the difference that Undershred makes. Are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, friendly competition. Here we go. On your mark, get set, build. So what makes undershred so much easier to use? You don't need all these extra things. You don't need glue dots and skewers and tape. And when we were doing it with the paper several years ago, you know, the tape comes from one store and the newsprint came from another store and the skewers were somewhere else. And I can't tell you how many times working late mm -hmm. and all of a sudden you open the drawer and Absolutely. you're out. If I was going to be training my employees to use undershred, it would be an easy process. It wouldn't be a time-consuming one, and, and they would get it pretty quickly. Absolutely. So when I receive my under shred, is there anything I have to do to prepare to use it, or can I just use it straight out of the box? Just cut the top off that bag. Um, it will spring up on you because it's been compressed, but it's ready to go. Everything's been done for you. So as Very long as you have a supply of under shred, you're always ready to make your baskets and you're ready to go. And then we also had an issue with um, just somebody pulling a product out and getting the skewer with it. What's really nice about this is everything comes out absolutely clean. There's no glue dots. Very it's not nice. a bunch of products stuck together when you pull it out. Um, it just really handles everything really well. So besides saving money, saving time, our customers have loved this. I mean, they pull everything out, they get to enjoy their goodies, and then everything just gets recycled when they're done.